You can make an amazing video for your business using nothing but your phone. And to prove it, we're shooting this entire video using the default camera app on an iPhone. This is the setup. Here are 10 tips that'll make your iPhone video shine. Start by setting up your shot. Even with the iPhone's image stabilization, handheld footage looks less professional. So grab a tripod and a phone mount. There are a bunch of mounts to choose from and a bunch of different tripods you can use. If you need to move around while you're shooting, consider investing in a gimbal for your phone. Your footage is gonna be buttery smooth. If you can, pick a location with lots of natural and diffused light. The less light there is, the more likely you're gonna get an image that looks muddy and, well, bad. So if you can, choose your location with that in mind. If you need more light during the day, try to go with white lights to match daylight. Frame up your shot using the good old fashioned rear camera lens. Yep, even if you're filming yourself. The selfie camera looks decent, but just isn't as good as the rear camera. Here's the selfie camera, and here's the rear camera. Way better. If you want to get closer to your subject, move the phone closer instead of pinching in to zoom. You're gonna get a way sharper image by actually moving the camera close to what you're filming. If your phone has multiple lenses, the super wide or telephoto lenses will come in handy too. But keep in mind that if you're shooting in lower light situations, the standard 1X lens is gonna perform the best. If you're unsure of how to compose a nice looking shot, use your phone's built-in grid and frame it using the rule of thirds. Go to settings, camera, and toggle grid to on. Now line up your subjects so they fall neatly on an intersecting line. For shots of faces, make sure your subject's eyes intersect with the top line. And while you're in here, go ahead and turn off HDR mode for video. It doesn't look very good. Here's something for all you Apple Watch wearers out there. Is it wearers? <laughs> you can actually use your watch as a little preview window to help you frame up your shot. It's super handy if you're shooting by yourself. No Apple Watch? No problem. Airplay your phone to your MacBook and use that as a preview monitor. Lock in exposure to avoid lighting changes that happen halfway through your shot. Tap and hold the focus and exposure box to lock in your settings. And then drag the sun slider up or down to expose the shot. There's also a neat exposure dial if you want to lock in exposure but not focus. Just tap the carrot, exposure icon, and slide left and right. Good sound matters way more than you think. <clears throat> let's, let's try that again. Good sound matters more than you think. For this video, we're actually capturing audio using a second iPhone hanging from a broomstick. So to get good sounding audio, borrow another iPhone, record a voice memo, and place the phone right above your subject just out of the shot, or even upside down in a shirt pocket. Now it's time to get creative. The iPhone has some handy shooting modes to help your video stand out. Cinematic mode mimics the look of high-end movie cameras by separating your subject with a subtle blur. Try using it on hero shots like this. Slow motion can be used to make even the dullest moments look epic. And time-lapse mode can illustrate how something comes together over an extended period of time. To get the highest quality video footage, do not text or email your videos to your computer. Instead, plug your phone in and use image capture or airdrop all of your video footage to your computer. If those options don't work, upload your videos to Dropbox, Google Drive, or even Wistia, and then download them on your computer in full quality. That's it. That's it? That's it. That's it. That's all you need to make a great looking video using your phone and some creative ingenuity. So what are you waiting for? Go out there and shoot something awesome.